all right folks thank you for watching this video and i hope that you are going to enjoy it in today's video we're going to be talking about the new module from ap model uh, this is the es 24tx it is running express lrs 2.4 now my module look different than what you may be getting if you decide to get one. I uh, did make some changes on it. And the first one of course is I uh, switch my antenna. This is the antenna that come with the module. Uh, the one I'm using right now is the VAS antenna 2.4. I've used this antenna before on my x light, And I have to say it does perform way, way better than any stock antenna. So I decided to use this one on this new module and of course i end up printing a new top for my box so i could run the fan on it the fan is not really recommended but i'm not sure how at the module gonna be getting so i had the extra fan sitting around so i just add it in this module hopefully that should keep everything cool and keep him keep it from burning out uh, the module is pretty simple nothing special about it but the one thing is pretty cool about the system are the receiver that come with it. And this is the PP receiver. And it does have a ceramic antenna. So you don't need to struggle around trying to figure out the best way to put your antenna. Uh, from what I heard, people say this is going to be perfect for nano or uh, wood drone, small, small drone but it is pretty small and i'm planning on using it on one of my five inch if you've seen the if you've seen any of my videos you you know that i really don't run smaller quad so i'm gonna give it a try on my five inch and see how much range i can get out of it if it's gonna be any useful range for people that fly five inch and do freestyle all right, let me set it up on one of my quad and we're going to see how much range you want to get out of this. All right, guys, before we go on, there is one little thing I want to bring to your attention is that the box is not really a perfect fit for the JRB. You can see there is a little play on it. And I end up adding some tape on both the top and the bottom in order to get it to fit a little better. Uh, you may be having issues with your connection if the play is too much plays in it but by just adding the tape on top and the bottom that gonna help resolve that issue and i think what i'm gonna end up doing is just i'm gonna end up printing a different box all together to but if you don't have a 3d printer you can just add the tape on top and on the bottom and that actually will help you get a much better fit on your on your transmitter whatever transmitter you're using done with the installation I got the receiver in front of my 5 inch. So when I'm flying away, it should be completely covered with all the electronics. Let's see how good it's going to do. Right, so those are the settings I'm going to be using on uh, 250 hertz. I'm going to be using it at 50 milliwatts. And this is not like a range test. I just want to see how good. This receiver I'm going to do on a normal freestyle flying. I'm just going to be flying around my house. I may try to fly all the way to the end of my street, which is about 250 meters away from my house. And we'll see if we're going to get into any type of trouble. And unfortunately, guys, since I'm using DJI, I can't really show you. I can't really show you my LQ uh, we're just gonna fly around in the, around the house and we we'll see for one of my LQ is 99 I'm just gonna let you know what it is and keep going so now I got on the opposite side of the house LQ go down to 90 97 RSSI I mean, it's really LQ, but as you know, in order to get LQ to show up on DJI, you gotta change a couple of stuff. Uh, right here, let's see, we see it back at 99. Uh, still on 50 milliwatts. 
going all the way to the end here which is about almost a hundred meter away from me and the little antenna is doing actually pretty good and the pp is one of the antenna you can get with the 2.4 from ap model you can get the ep1 which has the regular antenna and the ep2 which also has a ceramic antenna I think the main difference between all of them is one, some of them come with Wi Fi, so you can update to Wi Fi, some of them don't. But I would say for normal flight, you don't have to limit those receivers to whoop. Let me try to go down the street. And my link quality is pretty much not fun no issue and you can hear amber is pretty quiet and I'm gonna get to the end of the street I'm getting like 81 so it's going down but no alarm yet Ooh, I'm down to 40 really pushing it let me face around. There we go. Now it's going back up. So I'm just gonna give you an idea, guys. That the range on those guys, you may not be able to do long range flying with it, but as far as just regular free, uh, freestyle flying, park flying, or flying around your house, those little ceramic antenna will be doing fun, completely fun. I didn't drop anything. I'm coming back and from my house to the end of the street where I was is about 300 meter. So, no issue at all. Uh, that's pretty much what I want to show you guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that you subscribe and I will see you on the next one.